Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome to another 30-day diet challenge. I'm Cartoon Joe. Hey, I'm Travis, do you guys? <laughs> and uh, we've got a, it's an exciting one. We, uh, we're going to try out the, uh, the Mediterranean diet. So uh, last last month, as you all know, we we uh, we tried out the keto diet, and uh, I enjoyed it. That was a really uh, really interesting time. Yeah, it, keto diet's always been one that uh, really worked for me, especially like even before us doing these journeys and challenges. Uh, I spent years trying to find like the perfect diet that worked for me and everything, and um, I think it was it was probably more so um the focus on actually doing it than the actual diets themselves but yeah. keto was always the one that was seemed like a go-to that worked um the mediterranean I never tried so i'm excited to kind of incorporate that new lifestyle for the next 30 days mm -hmm. me too i think this one's going to fit my uh lifestyle a little bit a little bit better um, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more plant-based a little bit less meat-based um, I actually, I pulled up here, it's a, it's a practical guide to the Mediterranean diet from uh, Harvard Health, um, the, the Harvard Medical School. And uh, basically, I'll, I'll read right here from the, the what is the Mediterranean diet. Uh, the traditional Mediterranean diet is based on foods available in countries that border the Mediterranean Sea. The foundation for this healthy diet includes an abundance of plant foods, including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and legumes, uh, so like beans and, and chickpeas mm -hmm. and things which are minimally processed, seasonally fresh, and grown locally. Olive oil is the principal source of fat. Cheese and yogurt consumed daily in low to moderate amounts. Fish and poultry consumed in low to moderate amounts a few times a week. Red meat consumed infrequently and in small amounts. Fresh fruit for dessert with sweets containing added sugars or honey eaten only a few times a week. And finally, wine consumed in low to moderate amounts, usually with meals. So basically, the idea is... Uh, we're going to be getting a lot more fresh fruits and vegetables, um, which I'm excited about. That's something I yeah. really missed on the keto diet. Um, but the goal is to to eat a lot less, a lot fewer processed foods, which uh, the keto diet is very similar on that, too, I think, um, especially yeah. the cleaner keto. Yeah, it's uh, the diet, I guess, uh, from what I was kind of like looking up and I watched a, uh, a couple of videos on it just to kind of get my focus into it. Um it, it, it basically you're eating like you're in the Mediterranean and finding like those natural like you know you you find it you eat it kind of foods. Um, this is going to be different than the keto in a major way because of the uh, the carbohydrate uh, intake. Yep. Uh, you can you can like you, like you mentioned keep beans and potatoes uh, and uh, bread and all that stuff, which uh, I'm I am excited for it. Uh, in, in our in our little break in between the two diets, uh, I did enjoy toast uh, quite yeah, often. This has been horrible diet wise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Holidays, it happens. Three times, so yeah. Um, but it's it's also cool because like it it still gives you like a kind of restriction. So you gotta follow some rules. Like you can have bread, but it has to be whole grain. You can't have uh, white exactly. bread. Um, uh, same with rice. You can have whole grain rice, whole grain pasta. You just can't have a uh, I forget what it's, uh, the term is, but uh, processed uh, grains yeah, exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, you want to your, your carbs need to be clean carbs as often as possible. Mm -hmm. And if they can't be clean carbs, they need to be complex instead of simple carbs. Yeah, which I'm also excited for because now that I can have potatoes, I can go back to making some uh, air fried uh, french fries, which uh, I love, or uh, air fried um I think they're called country fries, a little chopped up hash brown kind of cubes. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to use the air fryer again. Uh, I have an awesome recipe for um, some air fried uh, salmon. So I'm excited. I, and I've had that before. I just never got back into it. Uh, but I'm going to incorporate the uh, air fryer back into the dieting. Uh, it's a lot easier to cook with and quick as well. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, to sweet potatoes and sweet potato fries, and so mm -hmm. I've got a, I've got a few different recipes I'm I'm ready to try that I've been waiting on. So nice. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Nice. So uh, what what uh, what sort of things are you looking forward to? Uh, what are you? What's your starting weight? What's your goal for the week? So uh, with, with the diet being brand new, um, obviously. Uh, we're coming off with the keto diet, which was a limitation on carbohydrates and everything. And now we're focusing on a diet that looks like it's almost predominantly uh, carbs. And it's not so much like a, it's not considered a high carb diet. It's just, it's incorporating um, 
more carbs into it. Uh, and I, as we mentioned before we did the recording, uh, the the macros on it is uh, way different, almost backwards than what uh, keto oh, yeah. was. Um, and that was we kind of I didn't know that. I, I didn't until I pulled it up, and I, I was kind of researching a uh, Mediterranean keto diet thing, which basically it says you could do keto on Mediterranean. The only thing is you just eliminate the um, the uh, whole grains and all that stuff, you know. But um, but I want I want to focus on the Mediterranean diet itself, not. The keto Mediterranean because then it just defe- uh, defeats the purpose of this whole challenge and testing out diets because if I just do that then basically I'm just doing the keto diet all over right. again it just doesn't work yeah, so yeah. um so I'm gonna focus on the Mediterranean diet I am going to follow the macros um that they kind of say it is which is uh 50 carbs 35 fats and 15 percent protein uh use it on the fitness pal app and uh, kind of see how it works out there. Uh, I'm starting out at 410, which I was really nervous about weighing myself this morning on because, like, I know what I ate over the weekend. I know a lot of it wasn't the healthiest, but wasn't, like, overindulging. I think I've had, like, I had, like, one piece of angel food cake, and I did try the ice cream place that opened up here in Pieta. Nice. Nice. So, so I didn't know I, I, I didn't know I had that stuff. Um, but a lot of everything else was so pretty similar to, like, what I normally eat every single day. So I'm starting at 410. Which I'm okay with. I only gained two pounds back from when we ended keto uh, last week. Um, and at least for this diet, I'm only going to give myself like a three-pound goal for this week just because I don't know how my body's going to react to the diet. And mm-hmm. since the very beginning, mm-hmm. I got to see how uh, it's going to work out. Overall, for the month, I do want to focus on that 20-pound thing, which I think is going to be consistent uh, over these challenges we do. I think monthly, I want to focus on 20 pounds. Um We'll see if we get there, but at least for this week, I want to see how I do three pounds wise as I incorporate the Mediterranean diet into the DDP yoga and uh, even those uh, push up, squat, and plank challenges. I'm going to start incorporating as well. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think uh, I'm not really sure about weight loss on this one for me. Um, I, I know the last couple of weeks of keto, I really struggled to lose any weight because I wasn't getting enough calories, just flat out. And so uh, one of the things that I've noticed is uh, just over the last week, I've, I've tried to keep my diet actually pretty healthy. I mean, just despite having pizza a couple of times. Um, I mean, it was a homemade dough. Um, my, my wife makes a wonderful pizza dough. Um, you know, fresh vegetables and, and cheese and, and homemade sauce. And it's great. But, uh, but anyway, um, it's a lot easier to hit my calorie goals when I can have carbs. Mm-hmm. You know, so like for, for dinner last night, um, because I, I hadn't eat I, I just didn't eat anything all day yesterday. I was, I wasn't hungry. It was too hot. Um, and, and honestly, I, I think my, my, uh, I haven't behaved well enough. And so I've, I've been kind of real cranky and pissy because of my diet lately. Um, so gotcha. I'm looking forward to get back into a rhythm that's actually, you know, healthy and, and, mm-hmm. and put me in a good mood. But, uh, but anyway, I had it was like a thousand calorie bowl of oatmeal I had for, for dinner last night. You know, just uh, two servings of steel cut oats with a couple of uh, spoonfuls of peanut butter, a little bit of uh, just a tablespoon of, of Irish butter and uh, two tablespoons of maple syrup. Nine hundred and sixty calories, you know. Uh, so that's that's about a third of what I need to have in order to lose weight at all. Yeah. Um, so I actually one of the things that I've done in the last week is I, I looked up my uh, my total daily energy expenditure, which you can you can Google this at home. Um, T D E E. If you just if you Google those letters, it'll tell you, um, you you can you can put your your age, your weight, your body fat percentage, all this stuff in how active you are. And it'll tell you how many calories you need to maintain, how many calories you need to cut, how many calories you need to bulk. And uh, I noticed that that in order to cut, I need I needed last week to be at about 2,100 calories. Um, but now I'm at the point in my push-up challenges where I actually need uh, closer to 25, 2600 in order to to actually lose weight at the uh, the amount of, of energy I'm expending. At, uh, I'm doing like 50 push-ups uh, at least every other day, and and at almost 100 squats. Uh, every other day mm-hmm. so that's 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 closer to moderate exercise than it was at the beginning of this <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> so uh uh I, yeah i'm really looking forward to it and I'm, I'm not as worried about cutting weight at this point as i am about reshaping my body from being um you know fattier to being more muscular 
Um, I, I think I've I think I've pretty much bottomed out on the amount of weight I can lose. Although these same places, although the the data is way out of way out of date, uh, they're saying that that in my height and age I should be like 170 pounds or some shit, mm-hmm. which is I would look sick I think at that weight. <laughs> so oh yeah, I, I think I think uh, I use the same site and told me I should be around 185. So yeah, I haven't been 185 since I was 12. Right, so. exactly. So I, I think that I think those measurements are wrong, but you know, if I get down to 190, awesome. But if I stay right where I'm at, but I get bigger, also cool. You know, bigger muscle wise, not you know. So and I've actually, you know, I I've gotten a lot broader in my chest just in the last week or two. So I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing how that continues to shape things, and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to all the different foods we get to eat. So, yeah, and I, I, uh, it's, it's awesome because I mean, like, it, it does suck having the heat and everything that we've had over the last few days and stuff like that. Um, but I, I've been able to get out and do a lot more like activities outside as far as like, yeah, kind of like some updated repairs. I finished the decking on Sunday, which it was like 92, I think, on Sunday. So it, it, it's given me an opportunity to get active and sweat more, which is awesome. And because of the heat, I'm able to make some really awesome like sun tea. So right. I've been I've been drinking a lot of tea over the last yeah. few days. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I and there's there's a lot of benefits to black tea. Uh, I like black tea over green tea. Um, I'm not sure why, but you know, it tastes better personally. Well, well, yeah, real. I mean, like realistically, it should be the same. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I always choose black tea over green tea. There's a lot of uh, health benefits to it as far as lowering LDLs, uh, heart, um, your uh, blood pressure. Uh, it helps with like you know dietary uh, or uh, stomach, you know, like you know bowel movements and all that yep, stuff yep. to get a little I gross know. for a moment. But I, I, I'm making about Everybody a gallon a day, so I'm drinking about a gallon of tea wow. a day. Um, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm incorporating my water more. I got a <clears throat> some water bottle. Ooh, nice. Um, Contigo. Of uh, but it's a 40-ounce bottle. So, I mean, I just, you know, as long as I fill it up at least, you know, six times a day, or not six times, five times a day, um, I'm in that range because I'm, I'm supposed to be around 196, uh, 196 ounces of water a day. So uh, about 40 ounces. If I if I could fill it at least four times, I'm very close. If five times, I exceed it. So uh, I'm at that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to schedule things a lot more. Um, I got this dry erase board coming in tomorrow that I'm going to set it up in the uh, guest room. Because that's where I'm going to start doing my workouts and everything in now because it's more open there than it is in the living room. Um, but <clears throat> I'm just going to I'm just going to set everything up on there. Uh, what days I do yoga, uh, what days I got to reach what uh, as far as the plank challenge uh, to work on my abs, the push up challenge to work on arms and chest and squats to work on uh, thighs because be- thighs being the biggest part of your body, you actually burn more fat working your uh, ca- uh, thighs and everything than you do almost anything else. Oh, absolutely. I believe it. So, uh, and then I'm also going to set up my times to drink my water to make sure I get it at least five times a day. Uh, I'm trying to get a better sleep pattern to where I can be in bed by 10, 10.30. Nice. Waking up around 7, 7.30. Uh, give me somewhere around eight to nine hours of sleep a day. Yeah. Um, I think with that a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, just to make sure, like, you know, I'm not napping in the middle of the day. And I just I keep active so I could exert all that energy throughout the day. So by the time it's ready for bed, I'm not sitting on my phone for an hour and trying to, you know, get myself tired. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about doing this because with the more natural eating, I think it's going to help out a lot. Because I, <clears throat> I do know, like, you know, doing the testing and stuff through, like, my previous job where they had someone come in and take your blood and everything. Yeah. Uh, I was pretty much perfect except for a lot of salt intake, which has incorporated to the keto diet because of the fats and all that stuff. Right. Uh, also, uh, I'm low. Uh, I have low LDL or whatever. I, I'm yeah, I'm high on cholesterol fats. and high bad cholesterol, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this diet's gonna help out a lot because of the fish and the natural uh, uh, fruits and vegetables like uh, like spinach. I'm really excited. I love spinach. Fresh spinach, not a canned spinach guy. Fresh spinach. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. God. Uh, leafy green salads and stuff like that but Popeye must have had some other stuff in his pipe to eat (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but I want to I want to really dive into this diet so much like you know I mean Mediterranean you know I'm I'm here I love it yeah it looks beautiful right right I want to I've got to absorb so much into it like you know even like having salads and stuff like that like 
Uh, I'm going to stick to like an oily kind of vinaigrette kind of dressing for it. Um, and really, really, um, you know, get into this and make sure that this diet is as successful as I see. Uh, I'm a bigger guy, so weight loss should be easy for me. I think keto, um, I kind of just went through the motions of it just because it was common. So we'll see how this diet goes and as long as I keep in my water intake. And uh, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'll enjoy a glass of wine. I think they say you can have like a glass of wine, which I think a normal glass is like eight ounces, but I can do 10. Fuck it. Um, but I have a glass of wine with yeah. it. You know, like I said, like I'm, I, I have these recipes to make uh, this uh, um, uh, encrusted uh, tilapia and salmon and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the air fryer is a great thing because you can throw like okra and stuff, or not uh, okra, um, okra too, but um, oh God, what is it? Asparagus. So, oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, so, air fried asparagus. Yeah. yeah, so I gotta, I gotta do some shopping today. Um, I gotta get because I my fasting ends at noon. I'm gonna still incorporate fasting into this. Uh, I'll probably shrink it down. Uh, eight sixteen. So, um, so I, you know, I, I start eating at noon, stop eating at eight. I think uh, at least starting out for this diet, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, starting tomorrow, I think I'm just going to go 12 and 12. So I'll just do t- um, 8 to 8 because now that I'm going to be waking up, it's uh, 7, 7.30. Eat breakfast when I first wake up. So I'll go 8 and 8 and do the 12s at least for the first week and then probably slowly go back to like maybe a 12, 14, 16. And there'll probably be a day where I'll try doing a 24. Uh, just kind of like, you know, keep the body, you know, in check and, you know, fit, you know guessing. So I'm really excited for this. I, I, this is something that I... I never really even thought of, but you know, reading about it, basically, it's it's keto dieting, adding carbs, which I think any diet is pretty much another diet, just changing one thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So, I mean, I, I got to do is add potatoes to my shopping list. So. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You mentioned uh, something about um, some exercises you find on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I started following these guys. They call themselves the Buff Dudes. The Buff Dudes <laughs> YouTube channel. And, uh, uh, they do about, it seems like once a year, maybe a couple of times a year, they come out with new exercises that you can, you can purchase either the, uh, the PDF or a physical book that they can send you. And, gotcha. um, I went ahead and they, they were having a sale on their body weight, uh, and their dumbbell exercise programs. And so I went ahead and ordered the PDFs and, uh, I'm interested in trying them. Um, I don't know that I'm going to try them right away. Um, I, I really want to get to uh, 100 push-ups um, in my 100 push-ups app before I start doing anything else. Yeah. Um, squats are squats are not bad. I've always had good legs, but I, I'm very I've very weak arms. I'm, I'm kind of an academic. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, I I want to I want to be able to actually lift my body weight and things before I try mm-hmm. to do body weight uh, exercises, but. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they, they've got a 12-week program. Um, you can do it with, with basically any diet, um, although they recommend for theirs, they do uh, all their macros are set up, and they do 40-40-30. Uh, Is that right? No, 40-40-20, um, where it's, uh, I think, 40 protein, 40 carbs, 20 fat. Okay, um, the norm. That's, the, oh, yeah, that's, that's about the norm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, it, it wouldn't really work super well exactly with the Mediterranean diet, although you could do it. You know, I, I think that's that's one of the things I really like about the Mediterranean diet is that it's more of a uh, it's less of a diet and more of a, a, a way of eating. It's versatile. It, right. it, you you could use it. You could you could uh, shape it to accommodate like your lifestyle. I mean, like obviously exactly. with keto, the focus is no no to minimum carbs but with right. the mediterranean diet it gives you that buffer to incorporate as many carbs as you want in it exactly um it, it's it's, really just, it's guide it's a guide to what kind of carbs what kind of proteins what kind of yeah food, more than anything. yeah and, and it's like it's like you mentioned uh earlier uh before we start recording is the Mediterranean diet it doesn't really focus on macros. The macros right. that that I found was just kind of a guideline to incorporate the difference between keto and Mediterranean. Gotcha. Um, yeah. It's just it's this diet is almost like every other diet where it's you know just eat the right things, just don't overeat. And that was one of the uh, that was one of the negativities um, I read in the Mediterranean diet is that <clears throat> that one of the few pitfalls and I think there's only two that I found is uh, one is a lot of his uh, natural healthy foods. Fresh food, so the price of it could be a little bit higher. Yeah, when you're grocery yeah, shopping, 
And secondly, the variety of food is so um, so uh, broad yeah. that overeating could become a challenge for a lot of people because you're yeah. not limited to what you can and cannot eat as long as it's natural whole grain stuff. So if you get past those two things, the Mediterranean diet is going to be a perfect diet. It's going to be ideal. Um, and that's going to be one of the challenges, especially for us as we go into these 30-day uh, diet challenges because we're trying to focus on budgeting these diets as well. So that's yeah. going to be another challenge we have to look into as well. Yeah. So that's why I think, uh, you know, and I, I don't I don't know if I'm going to go as far as actually writing out a meal plan that would be shareable or not. Um, if I do, I'll share it in the Facebook group. Um, check us out. It's, it's our freaking journey. Um, but uh, I, I'm thinking about, you know, trying to get my breakfast to be, you know, a thousand calories. Yeah. Um, that way, that way I'm close to halfway to a third of the way there for the day after I have breakfast. And I'm going to try and make my breakfast focused on having, you know, uh, oats. Um, I like steel cut oats. I think they're really cheap. I think they're easy to make. They've got, um, it's only 27 grams of carbohydrates, but it's 40 grams of whole grain. You know, so okay. it's great for your digestive system. Um, you know, you mix in a little peanut butter. You, you, that's good for protein. You mix in honey or or uh, uh, maple syrup, and and now you're cooking with fire. You know, it's 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 good food, good solid, and it's cheap. It's cheap as hell, and it's you know, like I said, it's I, I need to be eating 2,500 calories in order to lose weight. So that's you know almost half of what I need um, if I have two servings with two servings of peanut butter and you know, uh, and that's that. So, uh, you know, and then, and then you have, you know, your salad and salad is pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, it should be anyway. And, uh, you know, uh, fish and fish and chicken are, are not too bad. Fish can be pretty expensive. I learned that yeah. the first week of keto. If you get, if you go for salmon or trout or whatever, it can be, it can be almost $10 a pound. So I, I don't oh, yeah. think, I don't think I'll be having a lot of that. I'll probably be having tuna when I have fish uh, or, or, uh, and not anchovy sardines. Um, but, but I like those, you know, other people don't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's, it's kind of like with tilapia, like a top tilapia is an affordable fish, but the reason oh, yeah. it's affordable is because you can't find, uh, wild tilapia. It's right. farm raised and all that. So that's why it's cheaper. So obviously the nutrition value in tilapia isn't as big as salmon and trout and stuff like that, but it does have enough uh, nutrients into it to where it could still be a factor in any diet. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. But I, I was lucky enough to have a bunch of uh, salmon available to me. So uh, I'm going to be eating that over the next 30 days. I got a bunch of chicken as well. Um, I know with the Mediterranean diet, you got to limit yourself on red meats. Mm -hmm. So um, not a whole lot of steak and burgers going to be happening, but turkey and stuff like that could also kind of, uh, you know, throw in burger. instead. Yeah. So. Right. For sure. Yeah, that's one thing I'm going to be looking into is uh, I, I've been learning how to cut up my own chickens. Mm. So because it's, it's much cheaper to buy a whole chicken and cut it up yourself than it is to buy the parts. So Oh, yeah, especially the rotisserie ones from the grocery store. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like five dollars for a whole chicken. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I think I don't know. I'm not part of Costco or whatever, but I guess I've heard that Costco sells those rotisserie chickens for like two dollars or something. Maybe. Yeah. So or they used to before. Before COVID. <laughs> yeah. Poor chickens got scarce. Yeah. Yeah. So. so but no, I'm excited for this. I'm, I'm yeah. excited to get started here and see what the next 30 days of July brings us uh, here uh, in the Mediterranean. Yeah, absolutely. Any other thoughts? Uh, no, no, I, I think, I think I said, uh, I think I said everything uh, throughout here. Like I said, I'm just, I'm excited for some new, some different. So. Nice. Cool. Good deal. Me too. Well, uh, I've been Cartoon and Joe. Yeah, I'm driving to see you guys. And we'll uh, we'll see you next week when we check in. See ya.